Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a palette focus video, and we're gonna be doing three looks using one palette, and that palette is, da 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 da, the Jaclyn Hill palette. The reason why I picked this palette for today's tutorial is because it's a palette that a lot of people already own, and if you don't own this palette, a lot of the colors are probably colors that you already have at home. So even if you don't have this particular palette, you probably have similar colors that you can use to recreate some of these looks. So without further ado, let's get started with the first look. Tap it into place first, and then I will start to sweep that color all over the crease back and forth. So next, with a little bit of a denser crease brush, I'm going to go in with this color right here, which is called Pooter. And we're going to put this a little bit more concentrated in the crease. We're not going to blend it as far up as we did with that first color. But we want to deepen up this crease area just a tad so we can give it a little bit more definition. And I'm going to take it out a little bit on the ends because I like to elongate the eye. But of course, this is subject to your eye type, so if you want to do a rounded end, you can. Now we're going to deepen up the crease a little bit more, so we're going to go in with this brown color called Mocha. Using that same brush, I'm going to start to apply this into the outer crease area and slightly dragging it in, but not all the way in, about halfway, maybe about three quarters of the way. Then going back in with that large fluffy brush that we used to apply the first color, I'm going to use that to blend out the edges and diffuse the browns together. I'm going to go back and forth with this, these two brushes until I build up that color to the intensity that I am looking for and ensuring that I have a smooth blended crease with no harsh lines. Just going back and forth. And again, make sure that you kind of taper this out on the ends. Now to deepen that outer corner even more, we're gonna go in with this brown color called Central Park. And we're gonna deepen that outer crease a little bit more with an even more tapered um, crease brush. And this is the Morphe M443. And we're kind of gonna do the same thing that we did before, only we're gonna keep it much more on the lid in the outer portion of the eye and blending it just slightly above just to kind of give that outer corner some depth and definition and again you can go back in with that large fluffy brush to help blend out the harsh edges and help melt all the colors together Next, we're gonna go in with this color right here called Hustle. And we're gonna add that color to the inner portion of our eyelid using a medium-sized fluffy shadow brush. And we're just gonna to start to place that color on the inner corner and blending it up into the browns. And because I have hooded eyes, I'm gonna take mine a little bit above my crease. Just slightly so that it all looks still visible when my eyes open and also because if I don't, it's gonna transfer up there anyways. Make it look good for my eye shape. Tap between the two colors to help blend. You can always go back with the brown and drag it into that shimmer 
go back and forth to ensure that you have a seamless transition and you can see the gradient smoothly from the shiny hustle color into the dark central park color now we're going to start working on the under eyes so i'm going to go back in with that pooter color on that same medium um, crease brush that we used earlier and i'm going to start to place this under my lash line and smoke out my lower lash Once you have your under eye looking the way that you want to, I'm going to go back in with that M4, M433 crease brush and I'm going to take some more of that mocha color and I'm going to add this to the outer portion of my under eye. Just like that. And then to finish off my look, I'm going to go in with my inner corner highlight. So I'm going to use this color right here, which is called Obsessed. And we're going to add this to the inner corner as our highlight. Next, I'm just going to add a brown eyeliner to the waterline of my eyes, just to go ahead and tie the look together. I'm just using a brown Lobby London high, um, eyeliner in the color Mocha. And then I'm going to add some black gel eyeliner to the top of my lids and for that I'm just using this LA Girl um, brown gel eyeliner and we're just going to go ahead and apply that to the eye. I'm just going to go ahead and add some mascara and finish my face and then I'll come back and show you the finished look. And there you have it. This is the finished look. And in case you're wondering, for the lips, I am wearing Urban Decay's 1993 lip liner and I paired it with Color Rain's Satin Cream Liquid Lip Control Everyday Look. But for most of you, this is probably more like Friday night cocktails happy hour look. But I hope that you enjoyed it and let's get on to look number two. So for the second look, I'm going to start off by applying some tape to the corner of my eyes to give me a sharp edge. If you do this, my advice is to take the tape and apply it probably to the back of your hand first to get rid of some of the strong tackiness before applying it to your eyes. This way when you remove it, it's not as harsh on your skin. So to start off, I'm going to take this color right here, which is called MFEO with a fluffy crease brush. This is a Morphe E27. And again, we're going to start by applying this with that fluffy crease brush into our crease as our transition color. As always, we are going to start by tapping it in first and then blending it out. Next, we're going to go in with this color right here, which is called Buns. And we're going to apply that in the crease with a slightly less fluffy crease brush. This is another Morphe brush, but I don't know what the number is because it's not on here. But we're going to just dip into that color and add it into the crease. Again, this is to help add some definition. And with this color too, you're going to want to take it into the tape and kind of drag it out because we want to make sure that we get this angled fade of color. Then I'm going to go back with that first fluffy brush that we used to apply the initial crease color and we are going to blend to ensure that there are no harsh edges. We're getting blended all the way out to the tape. Next, we're going to go into this color right here, which is called Jax. And going in with an even more tapered crease brush. For this, I'm using the Vasanti Contour Eyeshadow 4 brush. And we're going to put this very concentrated into the crease and not taking it as far up. And I like to take mine all the way far into the inner corner because we are going to do a cut crease on this look. And I like to be able to still see that color because I do have hooded eyes. If you don't have hooded eyes, you don't have to take it as far in. And again, make sure you drag it out towards the tape. And I'm actually going to take this also 
in towards the outer corner of the eyelid as well. And then like always with that first fluffy crease brush, we're gonna go back in and use that to blend out the edges. Always go back and forth blending. Sometimes it's a process, but trust me, taking this extra amount of time will make your look come out so much better if you just take the extra five, 10 minutes to blend. The fluffier the brush, the easier it will be to blend as well. Next, we're gonna go in with this deep dark brown called Chip, and we're gonna apply this to the outer edges of our eye. And again, make sure you take it out towards the tape. Go back in with your brushes and help blend out the edges. Blending is the key word. And now for the fun part, we're going to cut the crease. So to do that, you're gonna take your concealer and a flat brush like this. I just put some on the back of my hand and then I coat the brush to make sure that the tips are nice and sharp. And what I do is I start by placing this on my lid and then I kind of look up to give myself a line so that I know where it's gonna transfer when I open my eyes. And that's where I'm gonna make my crease. And I'm only gonna do a half cut crease, so I'm gonna take it till about right there. Then I wanna blend it out, pat it out with my finger when I get to the edge. So next we're gonna go in with this color start, which is called Faint. And then we're gonna move into this color right here, which is called Little Lady. So starting off with Faint and using a flat uh, MAC 424 brush. I think this was called. It's so old the numbers came off. But we're gonna start to apply this first on the inner corner of the eye, applying it right on top of where we put that concealer. Then moving into that next color, Little Lady, we're gonna apply that right next to it on our lid. But I think I'm gonna do my cut crease colors at an angle, so I'm gonna take the top part kind of far in, but this bottom part I'm gonna kind of stop here so you can see it kind of comes down at an angle and of course make sure you go back tap over that first color to help the colors blend together using that same color I just wiped it off I'm gonna go back in with that dark brown chip color that we put in our outer eye and I'm gonna start bringing it in to the cut crease shimmer color and angle towards the middle of the eyes. If I'm looking straight, you can see it's kind of like right where my pupil is. And I'm just tapping this color in. I'm not swiping it. Then I just wiped off that brush and we're gonna go above that with the Jax color, which is that kind of cranberry color. And we're going to do the same thing. Lightly tapping it. So that it blends into that shimmery color. And we get like a really nice gradient. So now I'm going to go in and add my crease highlight, but this palette doesn't have a matte crease highlight, which is kind of what I want. So I'm just going to go in with this color by MAC, it's called Brulee. And I'm just going to add this as my, I said crease highlight, I meant brow bone highlight. And so now at this point you are safe to remove your tape. So next we're going to work on the lower lash line and for that we're going to take that same buns color that we used in our crease and I'm going to use this um, Glamour Dolls crease brush and we're just going to go ahead and we're going to smoke out the lower lash line. And you can take it down as far as you like. I like a super smoky lower lash line so I take mine down pretty far. 
Next, I'm gonna add some liner to my waterline, and for that, unfortunately, I'm using a really old, probably not available, limited edition MAC eyeliner, but this is the one I wanna use. It's just a cold pencil in the color Raven, which is kind of like a burgundy, but like blackish flex in it. I'm just gonna add this to my waterline and my lower lash line. And then with a small pencil brush, this is a, a MAC pencil brush, I forget the number, but I'm gonna take that dark brown chip color and I'm gonna smudge out that liner that I just put on my lower lash line and just kind of smoke that into the first buns color that we applied. And that's pretty much it for the eyes. I'm just gonna go ahead and add some mascara and false lashes and then I'll be right back to finish the look with you. So okay you guys, this completes the look for the second Jaclyn Hill. Excuse me. Do you want to come up here? Come on. Come here. Come up. You could do it. You could do it. If you believe in yourself, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, yes. Hello. Would you like to say hello? Would you like to say hello to everybody? Show them what a good girl you are. Yes, we love you. Why are you being so needy today? Mm -hmm. I know. I'm almost done. Can you give me like five minutes and then I'll come pay attention to you and love you all day? Mm -hmm. Can you do that for me? Do that for me? My old girl? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna put you down. You don't have to go all the way down. Just sit on my lap. Okay, so this is the completed number two look using the Jaclyn Hill palette. Uh, for lashes, I just put on some Ardell Wispies. Um, for the lips, I am using a combination of Urban Decay's Uptight Lip Liner with the ColourPop Lippy Stick in the color Cami. And then on top of that, I did a MAC uh, lip gloss in the color Love Child. And for highlights, I am using the Wet n Wild Precious Petals Highlight. And that's it. So I hope that you enjoyed this look. And now we'll get on to the next look. So to start off, we're going to place Silk Cream into our crease. Alright, so by now you should know the drill. We're going to add that Silk Cream color into our crease with a large crease brush. I'm using the Morphe E27. And that's what we're going to use as our transition color. Next, we're going to go in with this color, Pukey. Next, using a Morphe 433 brush, I'm going to take that color Pukey, and we are going to add this to our crease. Again, this is to add depth and definition. Stamping it on and then blending it out and upwards towards the brow so that we can blend it into that first color silk cream that we added to the crease. And we're going to slowly build this color up a little bit. Now we're gonna dip into this color Enchanted. Next, I'm gonna go in with a large bullet typed brush and I'm gonna take that color Enchanted, which is that dark green, and I'm gonna start to apply this on the outer and inner corners of the eye because we are gonna do a halo eye today. We're just gonna kind of pack this on into place first. I'm gonna leave the center of the eye open because I think I'm gonna do like a halo eye and I'm gonna bring the center kind of up. So once you have that color looking the way that you do, I'm gonna go back with that same crease brush that we added, that crease color pukey. And I'm gonna use that to blend out and soften 
the edges so that we don't have a harsh line. Now we're going to add a little bit of this color right here called Diva. Using a flat sheet of brush, I'm going to go in with that color Diva and we're going to start to pack that onto the center of the eyelid where we left that gap open and we're going to take it up. And make sure you blend it out into the dark green color. If you feel like you've lost some of the dark green color too, you can always go back in and help blend it out. And we're going to add a little bit of this color right here called Beam. So now I think I want to just kind of intensify that center spotlight on the eye. And I'm going to go in with that color Beam. And with a fluffier uh, brush, this is a Morphe M507. And I'm going to kind of use that to dab it into the center of the highlight just to give it a little bit of more intensity. I'm going to bring it just a little bit up into the crease as well. I'm also going to add some of that color to my brow bone as my brow bone highlight. This color is very intense. I guess they don't call it beam for nothing. Now we're going to work on the lower lash line. So for that, I'm going to take some more of that pooter color and with a Luxie 239 Pre Precision Shader brush, I'm going to use that to apply some of that color to the lower lash line. And we're going to smoke it down. Next, I'm going to go in with the small bullet tip brush and with that same Enchanted color, we're going to add this to the lower lash line, but we're going to keep it close to the lashes as possible and then kind of blend it out. But I'm only going to do it, I think, I think I'm going to do outer and inner and then leave the blank open and we'll add some of that. We'll duplicate what we did on the top of the eye at the bottom of the eye. So then going back in with that same flat shader brush and that color Diva, we are going to add that to the center of the eye and going over that with that beam color. I'm also going to take some of that beam and I'm going to add this as my inner corner highlight as well. So that's pretty much it for the look. What I'm going to do is add some black liner to the top and bottom waterline throw on some mascara, maybe some lashes, finish up the face, and then I'll come back and show you the finished look. Okay guys, so that completes this look. In case you're wondering, on my lips, I am wearing Lime Crimes Velveteen Lipstick in the color Buffy. Um, I just figured since the eyes are so dramatic, I should go with like a very nude lip. And that's basically it. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed watching these three looks using one palette tutorial and hopefully I'll have some more of these for you in the future. Leave a comment down below and let me know which one of the three was your favorite. And if you want me to do more looks using this palette, um, let me know what color. I was gonna do orange um, with this last look, but I just felt like I had to use the green. Because if you know me, I have like a slight obsession with green eyeshadow looks on myself, so I couldn't resist. Anyways, thank you for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Please hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time.